This is uh, my third time out at Zoho's offices, but uh, who are you? I'm Sridhar Vembo. I'm the CEO of Zoho. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I thought it would be fun to come and uh, talk with you because I just saw Microsoft's Office uh, 2010, mm -hmm. which will come out in six months to a year, and um, it seems aimed at, at taking away mostly Google's, you know, they want to make sure Google yes. doesn't take away their office market. But I, I saw your blog post about that, and I thought it would be fun to talk about. What do you, how do you think that changes your market? Yeah. Now that Microsoft is starting to move into the web. It, first, of course, it's tremendous validation. I mean, even till like a year ago, they were pretending like none of us exist even, that these tools won't make any impact. But now I think they're starting to recognize that these tools matter and they are going to make an impact. And I really believe the web changes the market in a fundamental way that one, people assume that it's going to be a monopoly forever, and particularly in the office market, I don't believe that's going to be true. That this is going to be a competitive market where many players with specializing in different aspects, all of that would come in. And the reason for that is standardization. Yeah. That you are, you know, you have browser as the delivery medium and the documents and all of that are standardized. So there's no reason, for example, a lawyer and a you know, realtor, all of them could be using the same exact tool. They could be using different tools and yet they interoperate. The documents could be read by any of the uh, various tools. And so this. And we see that sort of when, when somebody emails me a Word doc and it comes into Gmail, Gmail opens it up in, the, in their own word exactly. processor. I guess that's sort of where I'm seeing uh, each of the companies is coming with its own um, viewpoint, I guess. Mm -hmm. Microsoft is coming off the desktop yes. and is trying to keep fidelity with the desktop. Mm -hmm. Google is trying to uh, use Gmail and integration with Gmail. How are you, what are you, what's your claim to fame? What, what is so we really look at it for? more broadly than what Google does. For example, our today our uh, largest, you know, hottest selling product is CRM. And so we look at those business oriented applications and we look at email and the office suite integrated closely with them. And in the desktop world, that integration really did not exist. I mean, you had plugins, I mean, you really had weak integration. We believe, in fact, our what we showed with the mail and CRM integration is the beginning of it, that these should be much more closely integrated. So most people work on email, but their real work is, say, you know, in sales or whether it's in accounting or mm -hmm. whatever. So these systems should integrate much more closely. And with cloud-based uh, services, it's much easier to integrate. Yeah. That's what we see. So that is how we are going to compete, really integrating these you know, applications from CRM or project management closely with documents and uh, spreadsheets and you know, email. Yeah. So that's how we compete. When I first visited you, um, I think you had three or four services. Mm -hmm. Now you have dozens, right? right? right. 20, <laughs> so actually. I think 20 different is, right, services yeah. in a, a few years, a couple right. of years, three years. Um, are you going to continue bringing out a lot of different tools, yeah. or are you going to work on? And what do you, what's your strategy now? We will have, uh, you know, we'll round out the suite. A few more applications would come, but a lot of the focus now is integrating these in, in ways that really add value to the user. So we think of, you know, in fact, this is what is driving us is we look at email or the office suite as really commodity, yeah. actually, and that's that's something that that thought should scare Microsoft because these are becoming commodities. And really the value lies in how integrated that is into your workflow, whatever yeah. it is that you do for your job. If you're a salesperson, how integrated your document uh, management is with your CRM, and, and your email is with your CRM. And those are the things that are going to matter. And that's what we are really focused on. So a lot of the next year and, and, and subsequent years is going to be not so many new services, even though that's part of it, but a lot of integration, creative integration between them. Interesting. Um, What's driving the market? What's driving a small business right now to uh, consider, buy, you know, buying or using, using yeah. an online office suite instead of the older, you know, office it's, that you install on? There's your, two drivers. One is the productivity gain they get from this. You can get started, get going, and start using it right away, and with no administrative, you know, real hassle at all. And the economics. So here is a case where these tools make you more productive at the same time costing less. Yeah. And the reason for that, I mean, the, the fundamental economic driver is it costs us less to do these than an equivalent desktop application. Right. Cloud is actually, from a development perspective, more productive. And same way, it is also more productive from a marketing perspective. We spend less to attract the user. So those savings, both from the development and the marketing, 
then accrue to the user in terms of you know both uh, 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 licensing costs or the subscription costs as well as then of course the productivity benefit of using ubiquitous access to your documents so and your information yeah how how is mobile changing your world it, it, it is is are the android phones and the and the palm pre today the iPhone? iphone is the biggest yeah. you know biggest by far for us but we are also investing in the android and palm pre uh, difference is for iphone we tend to do now more of the apps that are installed also the web but a lot of the focus is on the apps while the other platforms you're focusing on the web more and the palm pre has made it really easy by you know really web enabling it which is a very smart move on their part so long term maybe in 5 years we think the web will dominate even in the mobile space but today we have to do sdk apps so that's what we are doing yeah if you were uh, uh, forget you're working for zoho if you're a small business person what would you be paying attention to on this space what what would you be trying and how would you uh, start moving from an office world where you have you know word and excel and uh, maybe outlook and sharepoint uh, small businesses don't usually yes, have sure sharepoint yeah. but they they probably have outlook and yes. are using that for their email to a world like this what what you know what one or two or three services would you first i try? think they would probably crm is where they will get started first because that's just where the really? barrier is it's okay partly testimony to the excellent marketing sales force has done but also more important everyone has to track their contact a business means revenue yeah you know that's the definition of business and that means customers and you need to track them and this is a case where it, you know one of the reasons why crm succeeded so well is it's a, everyone needs it and everyone who is a business needs it and this is a case where none of the technology limitations you know do you have you know fancy ajax how good is your javascript none of that really matter for crm you could be on ie 6 you know and you could still have use a crm system on the web well on the other hand if you are coming into like a presentation or a spreadsheet yeah it is of course you have to be you have to have a certain amount of technology on your client yeah, to do that yeah you look at slide rocket for instance they exactly. do really beautiful presentations but you have to have a modern exactly. web browser exactly exactly so this doesn't mean these are less useful but what what's going to happen is as technology advances these things are going to follow people are going to in fact crm is a good one because that gets them into the mindset of getting their information in the cloud i mean if you are going to put your sales information on the cloud you can put anything on the cloud yeah and that's your crown jewel of your business so that's why i think the presentations and the you know word processor spreadsheet everything is going to follow in fact after crm comes email yeah and that's where i think gmail has made a, a lot of progress a lot of uh, you know uh, google's enterprise businesses i think gmail driven by uh, gmail and that's because it's a pain real pain for particularly small business to run their own mail servers yeah I mean, whether it's exchange or whatever they are running it's a pain and any number of hosting companies their main business is really outsourced email and that's a you know space where we definitely also play but the real you know for us the differentiation is not going to be just we also offer email but it's so nicely integrated with your crm and your other applications that's all that's our message really. yeah so. it's still uh, tough for a lot of people to get uh, their mind in, into putting stuff online right yes. instead of storing it on their desktop right. um uh, uh, last night on uh, twitter and friend feed i asked about this and people were like i still don't know that i want to store yeah. my private business information on a third party server um Be, for a whole host of reasons, right? Well, Twitter just went through this, right? Their, yes. Their passwords were hacked on a uh, supposedly on a Google Mail server and uh a hacker got access to all sorts of private information because their security process mm -hmm. wasn't very very good. Um but that's a fear that a lot of people have. Uh, if you put it up on the cloud now, all of a sudden you're going to have have to think about a new kind of security that you didn't have to think about when yes. you had your uh, word doc on your hard drive right but you know for that you look at really salesforce the example they have more than a million users 50000 businesses using them and those companies and those users have overcome that fear i mean because this is critical information the same things that what happened to twitter could have happened even in that case it just here this wasn't google wasn't hacked is really if somebody used a really weak password easily yeah. guessable password but that problem exists even in you know people put on their laptops they have save password option and they lose the laptop yeah. oh anyone has you know can really log in and yeah. these things can happen anytime i have lost a laptop myself this was like 15 years ago well before any of this cloud stuff i had documents there 
So, you know, it's, that's just the way it is. I mean, so at some level, I believe really security at the data center level, it's a lot more secure than any, particularly an SMB can do. Yeah. So, and the access security, the passwords and all of that, I think people will get smarter. You know, the two-factor authentication and biometric, all of that is going to come in. That's how we'll solve the problem. No, I, I know I got a lot smarter about my passwords because of I, the Twitter. I, I did too. Actually, in fact, our whole company, we ordered everyone to change password. Now we have adopted a much stricter password policy for individuals now in the right. company. So Very cool. Uh, to switch topics to Twitter, you were telling me, uh, tell me a, a, about your internal business and how you're using Twitter and, and how that's, what are you seeing change in the market? Yeah, increasingly, we are seeing, I myself never warmed up to Twitter until very recently. I mean, I'm a late adopter, I should say. And, but you know, I, I didn't really appreciate the value, honestly. But now I see more and more, it's a great support channel for us. I mean, community interaction um, channel. We see you know, all the tweets going around from our user base, and they ask questions. And now our, you know, all our support people, all our marketing, everybody monitors Twitter, including our development team. And they're constantly, you know, having these conversations. So it's become a real business tool. That's something that even six months ago I wouldn't have expected. It has replaced a lot of other things. In fact, even more than blogosphere conversations, Twitter conversations have become more, you know, uh, vital for us to track and be in. So that's how it has changed yeah. for us. For me too. I've been blogging less and twittering more lately. Yeah. Um, so to switch, can we uh, see a demo of how a small business would use, for instance, the CRM tool and how, how we could get our, C our small business, let's say a bike shop or a pizza shop, yeah. onto uh, online? Yeah.